Yeah, it did come. Was it two ticks? I know it came really super close. I wasn't. I didn't actually look at it, but it was close. Oh, you say one tick? Yeah, it was really close. I don't know how close it was exactly, but it was close. I thought it was like maybe three ticks or something like that, but. One tick, huh? Well, that's as close as you can get. That would have been a scary ride down. It pretty much did the same thing on um, uh, Tuesday too. No, it's just, well, it's just a theory of mine, just an idea, but I think it's just because m more people probably go long than go short as a general rule they're looking for uh, possibilities to buy and because um, a lot of people don't understand shorting they say well how can you make money if it goes down you know th this doesn't make sense to them you know so um, where does it make sense to them if you buy here and then you could sell at a higher price you make some money you know it just makes sense so it, so what they did was they programmed it so that it's more tricky going up. But, you know, this has only been lately now. You know, keep that in mind. Uh, the, the way oil used to trade before is it would do its trickiness before it ever made its break. And then when it made its break, boom, it was goes. It, just, it would shoot up 20, 30 ticks and then play around within a 10, 15 tick range and then shoot up another 30, 40 ticks. You know, it just... If you had it on the entry, you had it. You never had to look back. So, it, it's just been tricky lately. I don't know why. It's looking good so far. Just like to see it, um, you know, it's good if it slowly inch worms its way up for a while. It's kind of like moves higher slowly. That's good. And then at some point, it'll eventually, um, it most likely will, or let's just say there's a pretty good chance that it will rip higher. And a lot of times when it does that, it'll just go right smack into your exit, which is, you know, really nice. You don't got to wait for it. Now, if it were to do that and come just a few ticks away from my exit and then not hit, I would get out manually right there take less than 40 but get out manually I'm going to be perfectly content today with a 30 tick trade on this one which puts me at uh, 58 instead of 68 but I'm keeping the 40 out there just in case it does shoot up here and go right up into it which considering that the range is so tight and looking at the daily right now it could easily do that everything is looking very good though look at the daily looks very good just beginning to move up here on a green bar uh, code 2 said go long with a tight range on it you know, when it, when it, um, when we have these big ranges, it eats up a lot of the ticks on the range. So the smaller the range, the better, because that's more ticks you can get. Because the code is going to be worth a certain amount of ticks, you know. So a st tight range is very good. And today was particularly tight, only 13 ticks, so. See, my stop is actually for 14 ticks. I got a 14 tick stop on it. Okay, I just want to let you know if it does rip higher here and go to like, let's say, I'm at 68 on my exit right now. If it goes to like, let's say 65 or something maybe even 64 
and tops right there. Doesn't go any higher. I will exit right there manually. Hopefully if it rips higher, it'll rip right into my exit. And if it keeps inchworming its way up higher and higher, a little bit higher, let's say it starts off from 45, it could make it. It could easily rip higher right into it. Actually, it was good for 40. Well, it was good for... Um, it made it right to my uh, 24, which was my exit at 40 ticks, but it probably wouldn't have got out right at 40. It probably was good for 39 ticks from my entry, but my entry was at 84. Other people got 80, so they were in better by 4 ticks, so they would have made their 40 ticks. Uh, anybody that was 1 tick under me, 83 would have made it, 82 would have made it, 81 would have made it, 80 made it for 40 ticks. But the trade itself was good for 60 ticks, technically. That would be the entry on it, if you, your best entry. Of course, we were using the breakout, and the range was 27 ticks, so we had to give up a lot of ticks on the break. Twenty ticks only. The code is good for so far, so it's technically definitely going to go further than that technically once it gets up to 52 I'm going to place a break even stop on it just in case but I need it to hit 52 first that's 30 ticks on the code. Okay, it may do it here. Get ready for the spike. Come on. I need 18 ticks. It's just still inchworming. It just wants to inchworm its way up. That's good though. Because the higher it goes, inchworming, the, the closer it is to the exit to spike up. It should make a spike. At the very end. Still looking for higher though. The code is only worth 30. Most likely the code will be worth 40 or more. So it's got another 10 ticks to go. Hit 53. Uh, it should take it up to like 62. Should be able to hit like 62 today. But before it goes up to 62, it could come back. I don't want to see that, obviously. I want it to spike up. Come on, oil. Let's do it. I haven't placed one yet. I'll go ahead and place it now. Stop is being set to 49.29 for a break-even stop. I'm in at 40. I'm in at 28. I'm setting it to 29. One tick above for a break-even stop. Hopefully it will not go back there. Come on, oil. Here we go. Let's do it. Make a spike. One spike, please. This inchworming is getting old. I can't believe this thing is just inchworming its way up. Okay, get ready. Spike is coming. Spike is imminent. If it spikes from here, it should go right smack into my into my exit. We are in striking range right here.
Come on, oil. You're not going to inchworm your way all the way up, are you? It made it to 56, which is uh, 28 ticks. I'd really like to get at least 30 off of this thing. It should spike. Here it comes. Come on. Good bit you can spike more than that. Come on. That's not a very impressive spike. My goodness, this thing is just inchworming itself up. Okay, you know what? I am going to get ready to take 58. I'm just looking for a little bit past. 57. If I can get like 60 or something like that, if it doesn't spike, I'm just going to take it. For 30 ticks today. Not 30 ticks, not a bad day. Come on, oil. Don't you dare come down right now. Don't you even think about it. One more time. One more move up. That's all I want. Fifty-seven. Come on. I'm just waiting for that one little spike and I'll jump out right there. I don't know why it doesn't spike here. It usually always does. The only thing I can think of is if it's just going to keep inchworming. But it's making me nervous. 57. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Do it. Right here. Right now. 58. Come on, oil. Give me a break. Okay, guys. I'm getting ready to jump out. 58. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm out right here. Sorry, I just, I, this thing's making me nervous. It could go down at any time here. It's probably going to keep going up, but, nah. I'm out. I'm out at, uh, I think I got 58, 57, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what uh, the market was at. But, um, I jumped out. It's probably going to go higher here. I'm going to kick myself for jumping out. Yep, here it goes. It just this inchworming action is not much fun. You know, because we're count, we're just talking about just ticks here, and all of a sudden it could drop out. You know, start going down, and you know, I miss it, miss, miss, miss a, a good trade. There it goes. That is some serious inchworming action there, though. It usually always will make a nice spike, and that's your your cue to get out right there. You know, but. Yeah, at least we got, uh, I think I got, well, let's see, I got uh, 28 ticks, 28 ticks, so not that bad, but see, it's going up even higher, oh, inchworming its way up, there it goes, watch it spike here, oh, watch, I'm going to be able to have 40 ticks, and I took 28, oh, well. Sorry about that, but I just wanted us to get a good winning trade going into the weekend here. Anyway, guys, uh, a decent day. Uh, it's it's the summer. Just wait until the summer's over. We'll really start rolling here. Oh, what was that question? It could have reversed any point. Yeah, you enjoy the weekend too. And um, I will see you guys next week. It's going to be Tuesday that we'll be, we'll be uh, meeting, and um, let me figure out what the code is on Monday, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll be able to, they're, they're probably going to change the code next week, I'm sure they will, so I need to figure out what it is, some weeks are real easy to figure out, some weeks aren't, it just depends, so, 
on our easy weeks would be not really good, you know, we'd be able to nail it all week long. But anyway, I'm pretty good at figuring it out now because I've been doing it for so long. Yeah, you guys take care out there. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Take care, everyone. Okay, YouTube, I am done trading for today. Uh, I was going for a 68 exit right up here. I bailed out early for tw uh, 28 ticks. and um, But it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. It wasn't s spiking up. And it was just inchworming its way up, maybe kind of nervous. And it's starting to head down now. It, it might head down here. So anyway, I um, hope all the traders are doing well in your trading. If you're not, come join my trading room. And I will help you out in your trading and uh, get you um, making money. We're making good money inside the trading room. So take care out there, everyone, and have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Happy trading.